Your Honor. Uh, what was what was the consequence again? Oh, you're going to prison for eight years. All right. Are we here on a motion to revoke? We are. Are we all ready to proceed? We are, Your Honor. All right. Can I have the file stamp for a motion to revoke, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Court is calling 2021 CR 2437 State of Texas versus James Madrone. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Thank you. Welcome to the state, Your Honor. Defense? Gary Cherak for the defense. All right. And are you James Madrone? Yes, Your Honor. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Are you the same James Madrone who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 2437 for the offense of failure to stop and render aid serious bodily injury on March 21st, 2022 for a period of 10 years? Is that you? Yes, sir. State. Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant James Madrone did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of January and December 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True, Your Honor. State? Uh, Your Honor, we waived the other violations alleged in the motion. No objection. All right. Mr. Madrone, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in the prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, I understand. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? It's not, Your Honor. We are uh, uh, we're going open. Uh, the, the, we are asking for the 10 years, Your Honor, and I believe the defense might be heard on that. All right. Defense, what are you requesting? Judge, we're requesting that he be placed on probation, that he be given weekly UAs and uh, intense supervision. Basically, Judge, this was a lot dealing with financial issues. He has two small children that he was responsible for living with his grandmother at the time. He's now presently employed. I believe he has the resources now to continue taking drug testing and uh, support his, his children. So I think basically, Judge, if we give him uh, weekly UAs and ISF and put him back, not ISF, with intense supervision, that he's able to complete the probation successfully. You have anything to add, James? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and not, nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. James Roger. All right, it says here that you didn't talk to the manager and you left when asked to stay in the lobby by the probation officer. Your Honor, I was... Um... My grandmother, thankful for her that she helped me with my burdens when I had um, to do these reports and everything. And she would have my kids in the car while I'll be reporting. So at that time, I really didn't have too much time to be there due to my being responsible for two children. So that was just that at that time. That was it. Okay, that doesn't make sense to me. Your grandmother is helping you with your children. Yes. And how old are your children? Three and one. All right. So she's helping you with the three and one year old. So you're telling me your grandmother drives you to see your probation officer yes, sir. and then says, I can't wait. Yes, Your Honor. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, it's 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 just like I had a I have a real Real, no support, really none. It's just me out there. Um, the All right, so your grandmother is not supporting you. Well, in a way she is, in a way. All right, and then it says that they tried to have virtual meetings with you and you kept rescheduling and they allowed you to reschedule it and reschedule it and reschedule it. Again, I had um, financial burdens. So you didn't have a cell phone? You, you couldn't get a ride by via bus. Your Honor, my grandma lived in Leon Valley and then she moved over, over there by Lackland Air Force Base. And I did not have reliable transportation. In oh, there. no. I know for a fact that there's transportation by via for Lackland. Oh. And you know how I know there is that? Because one time I made a mistake 
and got on the looper, which I, I believe is the 510. And it takes you all around the city. And I was like, wow, this is where the bases are. Yes, but uh, where I had to report was over there by 1604 in Bandera. Which, uh, Via. Yes, Your Honor. They, they canceled that bus route. I know it sounds like I'm from making it up or not, but yes, they did cancel that bus route for that reason that that drive was very, very extreme. Did you pick up the phone, call probation and say, hey, yes, this is where Honor. I am? Okay. Yes, All right, any other questions? Yes, um, Mr. Madro, my name is Hank Wilkins. If I ask anything you don't understand, just let me know and I'll try and rephrase it, okay? Um, do you know the last time you reported? The last time I reported was this year? No. Um, yes. It was this year? So would you be surprised when the uh, probation thinks the last time you reported is November? <laughs> Um, a few moments later. Did you um? Did you ever do the uh the cats theft course? Yeah, no, no. Did you, uh, did you do the uh the cats two theft course? No. Did you do the uh, moral recognition therapy? No. Did you do anything on probation? I had parenting classes that were available online, which I did do, and it wavered over my community service. I'm sorry to interrupt. How can you do the parenting classes online, but you can't free. report? No, no, no. But you can't report to probation online. Explain that to me. I, I did put report to probation online every time I had a Zoom meeting. And when it was in person, it was hard for me to be able to report due to my lack of transportation. Okay. Do you remember telling probation in January of this year they're not going to do anything? No. Do you remember telling them, I know the judge will leave Satan? No. You understand that when you pled to this offense, that's a third degree felony, right? You're looking at up to 10 years in the prison? Yeah, I do understand. Yes, I understand. And you knew that, and you still didn't do these conditions of probation, right? You didn't do that oral recognition therapy? Not that. I had faced financial burdens. So I did not have support from the, the mother of my children. She was attending school at the time. But now I have a reliable job. I have the, 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 the means to prove to the court that I could be responsible in finishing my term. Seems like the easiest thing to do would be to report, though. You didn't report it all this year, right? No, because she said that she was going to file a motion to revoke. And I had said that, OK, that we have to do what we have to do. That's simply that's what I had said in that response. I'll pass it to you, Nothing for you, Your Honor. All right. Uh, probation. Was there any restitution for Elise Perez and Kimberly Soto? So this is what the court is going to do. The court is going to find violation of condition number four true. The court is going to find you guilty. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Uh, with regards to punishment, state, what are you requesting? Your Honor, we're asking for the 10 years of prison. This is a third degree felony. This is a, a SBI, Your Honor. Um, some cause some other cases were taken into consideration in consideration of this plea. Um, the defendant had opportunities to plea in the division. Um, he didn't do much of anything on probation. I was I was trying to get uh, some some more information today. I, I was none of the answers were very satisfying. To the judge. So uh, we're asking for ten years in the prison. Defense, what are you requesting? Judge, I ask that he be sent uh, continued on probation and sent to ISF for a period of time to get his thoughts together right now be, be able to get out on the street and be a productive member of society and also a father for his two children all right oh yes you wanted to add sure. something may i address the question sure yes i would like to say that i would like to suggest no tolerant probation where i may be supervising weekly weekly uas i do not use drugs mm -hmm. and or or an outpatient program 
intense outpatient programs that I can prove to the core where I can be responsible in completing my probation successfully. Okay. All right. That's what the court is going to do. As previously stated, the court is finding violation of condition number four true. The court is going to find you guilty. The court will sentence you up to eight. Well, will sentence you to eight years in the prison. There's to be no unsupervised contact with the minors. The court will give you credit for any time served, and the court will request the therapeutic community. Did you review the trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it, and did you sign it? Yes. All right. You do have a limited right to appeal, and that right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you were on deferred adjudication. Do you understand? All right. Good luck to you. We can go off the record. Here's the thing. I can't force them to place you in the therapeutic community. You'll have to request that. Uh, and then it's completely up to them whether or not they place you in the therapeutic community. Your Honor, uh, what, was, what was the consequence again? Oh, you're going to prison for eight years. I'm going to prison for eight years. Yes. And that's the done deal. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. Okay. All right, we're back here on Moses 